Okay, now we want to bring you the original with in-depth reporting on a topic that we have been watching. Tonight, our focus turns to Afrofuturism. The Smithsonian's Natural Museum of African American History and Culture, right here in D.C., great museum, is unveiling a new exhibit, Afrofuturism, a history of black futures, calling, really featuring cultural classics that have shaped the past, the present, and the future of African American life in this country. Guests will see original costumes from pop culture hits like Black Panther, and then witness new ways of understanding recent historical figures like Trayvon Martin. Zinclay Isamwa has that story. Museums are known for showcasing the past. What I love is seeing all the different costumes. But for the next year, the National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C. is taking audiences to the future with a new Afrofuturism exhibit. What is Afrofuturism? Well, I think it's a way of African Americans thinking about the past and its rich history and using that to talk about the present, but also to imagine a new future. Museum director Kevin Young says the exhibit was launched to reimagine, reinterpret, and reclaim the black experience. It includes African American classics, original costumes from productions like The Wiz, black stars like Janelle Monet, and blockbuster films. But the exhibit isn't limited to fiction and folklore. Then we also have Trayvon Martin's flight suit. Among the most prominently featured exhibit items, an aviation suit once worn by Trayvon Martin, the 17-year-old unarmed black boy fatally shot by George Zimmerman in 2012. Zimmerman was charged but acquitted following a high-profile 2013 criminal trial. Martin's death largely viewed as the impetus for the Black Lives Matter movement, sparking protests around the country and world. I sat down with Martin's parents right before the exhibit opened. So often with black life and even Trayvon's life, there's an emphasis on death. And yet in this exhibit, we see some of Trayvon's aspirations in life. How do you want people to think about him when they see this suit? When they see the suit, I want young little boys teenagers, even grown men, to realize that you can have that. It, it doesn't have to be just a dream. You can actually obtain that. Martin widely portrayed for wearing this hoodie, remembered by his parents wearing this, a symbol of his hope to work in aviation. They'll see Trayvon more than the kid that got killed with a bag of Skittles and an iced tea. I'm glad to see that even though Trayvon is in heaven resting, you know, his name lives on and his his uh, accomplishments lives on. Martin's suit now placed squarely between symbols of black dreams. The Star Trek suit, Dreams Imagined, the flight suit of NASA's first black director, Dreams Realized, and Martin's suit, a dream deferred. Looking at that piece, I can say from uh, a father's standpoint that uh, Trayvon Martin is, is woven into the fabric of the United States forever. Martin's family and the museum team hoping this exhibit will reclaim black tragedy and history. Zinclair Samoa, NBC News, Washington, D.C. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.